Okay, now, uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to add in my footer. And there are some interesting things right here. So we can uh, click on this one and uh, we can push it this way as well. So whenever we see these little arrows up in here, um, it, when, they're, when they are facing out, what that's saying is that the, the image that we put in the header will expand to work with whatever it is that's on our site. So I'm going to show you. All right, so I actually am going to put an image in as my header, and then I'm going to put a little logo. So this image right here on our toolbar with the rectangular tool, that image is actually our picture box. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to grab my rectangular frame and I am going to draw it. So I'm going to grab this one right here and I'm going to draw the box like so. And again, if I wanted to resize it, I could maybe I'll bring my footer header down a little bit and maybe I'll readjust this a little bit. So however it is that we want to do that, we can. Now with this selected, I'm going to come on in. I'm going to say file place. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to find the image that I created to be placed in here. So I'm going to hit open. And I can see that this image then fills up the area. Okay. All right. So let's just preview this. Let's see what this looks like. So when I want to preview something, first of all, I can hit file, save site. Actually, I should have given it a name. Uh, I'm going to name it as, I'm going to replace it with this one. Save. I'm going to replace it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I have it open another window, so I'm going to give it a different name. I'm going to name it stitch. That will work. Save. It's saving. And now I'm going to preview it. Now, in order to preview it, all we're going to do is hit the word preview. And there we have it. Now, what does this mean? That we, we can, we can make it bigger. We can make it smaller and it's going to move with the browser. And also what this means is it's going to actually change with the device that it is being viewed on. All right, so I am going to uh, go back to this one right here. Now I can also see as I go into the plan that this header is in all of these different windows. And I want to go into the design. So there we go. I want to come back to the design. Now I want to show this to you. Watch if I lock this right here. It's going to be a different look. It all depends on how you want yours to render. So now again, I will come on in and I will hit preview. And I can see that now it will just be whatever the size is, right? So it will just end up being whatever, whatever the size may be. So either way, you might decide to do it one way or the other. Okay, coming on back, I'm going to close out my preview. I'm going to come back to my preview right in here. I'm going to come back to my A master. So I'm going to double click my A master and here I am again. All right, the next thing that I want to do, and again, I can also come in and resize it, but however it is, I'd like to work it. Another thing, I could also lower the um, opacity of this. So if I didn't want it to be so bright, maybe I'd put it down a little bit so the image was more faded. Now I could also, if I would like to, I could also add a stroke to this image. Now, this is what's really interesting about a stroke though. Uh, when I come on in, first of all, I need to add a color for the stroke and I could grab my eyedropper and maybe I'd come in and I would select one of the colors. Okay. Now I could come in to my stroke and I could decide, I could unlock this and say, you know what? I want it to be at the bottom. So I would turn this one, this one to, whoops, this one to zero. Well, they're all to zero. Now I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to up the bottom stroke. So I can see what I've done is I've added this color to it. And again, if I want to change the color of the stroke, I can do that as well. So, so the possibilities are endless. I could do even that color if I wanted to. So there we have it. All right, just added in a stroke. Now let's go in and again, maybe I want to take this and make this part of my header area. So I'll come on down. Now this is definitely part of the header area. Okay, now I want to come in and I want to add the logo that I created. I can come on in again, create my picture box. Come on in. Make the size. Come on in. I'm going to come file place and I have this logo that I created and there it is right there. I'm going to hit. 
And this is 396 by 288, so I'm going to hit Place. Now I can click on my box and I can see, hmm, you know, what size is it? So I can make it a little bit bigger, a uh, little bit smaller, um, or I can just even just leave it as it is. Put it where I'd like it to be. Now sometimes at this point too, we want to, uh, you know, come on in and um, really resize things as we're saying. And the problem is, is, you know, a lot of times we want to plan before we even get started. Um, so, cause now, you know, as we're moving this around, it's moving, it's keeping everything locked. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is I am going to come in, I'm going to delete this, delete this. And I know now that I want this to be bigger, right? I'm going to come down to about 200 and I'm going to come on in. I'm going to draw this image and I'm going to replace the image on in file. I'm going to hit place. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to find the header one more time. Header, open. There it goes. And now I can also come on in one more time. Now also, you know, I have a better sense of what the actual size of the one that I created was. File, place. I'm going to place that one on in. And again, I can um, also, you know, it's, it's saying what size it is. This is about 75% of the image. Now, I also want to resize this. So I want to get to the fitting. It's a right click to get to the fitting. I can also come to object and I can come to fitting and I can say fit content proportionally. Let's see. All right, so there we have it. Now, let's say as I start moving this around, I might want to get rid of this because when actually when Muse does this, it's actually drawing div tags. It's creating div tags. So I can come in and I can crop it. Now when I get the crop button, what's going to happen is I can come in and just start resizing the actual box. So I could have done the same uh, with my background image before I placed it in. So I'm going to hit File, Save Site, and now I am going to do a preview. So I'm going to come on in um, I have this unlocked as well. I'm going to hit my preview. And there we have it. I like that a lot better. Maybe it's a little bit bigger, but right now it's okay. And again, it's something that I could resize. Now, I actually forgot to add the uh, line at the bottom. So let's do that one more time. Again, we come on into the master. I'm going to click on to this image. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come on in. I'm going to add a stroke. Again, I can sample the stroke. And now that I'm looking, I think I want to actually take the stroke from the image that's the patch, that's supposed to be the patch. I hit the word stroke. And I want to turn them all to zero. Now I'm going to unlock it. And at the bottom, I'm going to up that stroke. So there we have it. File save site and I am going to preview it one more time and again we can say a website is always a work in progress we can continue to change it continue to work with it and there we have it thanks so much